rehydrating peatlands. Now, this is the shocking thing. Um, by, by simply re-wetting peat, uh, the figures are very clear across the planet that roughly 5% of global greenhouse gas emissions come from um, degraded peatlands, which is extraordinary when you think about it. Um, so just to put things in context, um, as I said, one third of all soil carbon is stored in peatland, and it only co covers only 3% of the global land area, and degraded peatland is um, greater than 5% of greenhouse gas emissions. And might I add that if it was fully operational, it actually would account for about 2% um, sequestration. So global carbon stocks, you see how important Ireland is in this. It's, it's one of the dark countries in terms of stocks, which is a good thing. We're one of the main peatland countries in the world. We all know that. There are various measures being brought into the common agricultural policy as we speak um, in relation to what's called polluticulture and so on, which is wetland farming. Results-based payment scheme. Ireland is to the forefront in, the, in terms of results-based payment schemes that by restoring 3% of the agricultural land that we could save 25% of the agricultural emissions. So hopefully we'll have a system here within the next two years. And that means that people basically will be able to restore peatlands and get paid for it, which I think is a good thing uh, for rural Ireland, so long as it's done in a community approach. Um, okay, so there's lots of policies underpinning this. The Sustainable Development Goals were in the UN ecosystem decade of ecosystem restoration from 2021 to 2030. Um, the European Green Deal, basically, I think roughly a trillion euro has been allocated to that. One of the things that always bugs me is people say, you know, there's all sorts of issues in relation to greenhouse gas, um, green, greenhouse effect, and that in fact climate change isn't real and this sort of thing. You know, the thing that bothers me is, it, 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 like it's pretty basic stuff. It's, it's, it's very basic science. It's not actually very complicated science. You know, so I, 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 I do accept that there are other factors at play, and I do expect there, accept that there are some spots, you know, maybe causing some of the temperature rises and so on. But to say that there is no effect from carbon and greenhouse effect, to me, you haven't really looked at it. You know? So in Ireland, 20% of our land area is peatland, 80% roughly is damaged or degraded peatland. And uh, estimates by most, you know, by I suppose a lot of the peatland scientists have come together. We've put figures together, and we've worked out that about 10 million tons um, of CO2 emissions each year come from uh, degraded peatlands, not not as I said from burning. That's extra. And from the worst, we are the worst country uh, for peat loss in Europe um, up to 2018. Um, we've changed. We've changed dramatically in the last three or four years. So restoring our peatlands will make an enormous difference. There's a lot of people around Europe are quite annoyed with us because, you know, we came from a situation where they saw us as Philistines and heathens who were ripping up our bogs and burning them and all this sort of thing. And all of a sudden we've, we've turned out to be the best in class. You know, literally in the last few years, we've, we've now got over 100,000 hectares um, under restoration. All these different projects are taking place in Ireland right now, and Board Namona has completely 180 degrees bow turn gone from being uh, a company who's ripping up peatlands to actually restoring them. Well, it makes a lot of sense, actually. It, it really does. Yeah. The coordinating, it's just simply we're talking about coordinating. Yeah. And that is, it doesn't need to be a massive agency, it just needs yeah. to be a small coordination yeah. agency which can help with the thing about a lot of these on this list is they just are, as the word says, projects. They start and they end. Exactly. And the expertise can be lost. We need a 40 year project on this, just the same way as Board the Moon was an era. So, the era of nature restoration, primarily in peatland and forestry, but it could be other areas too. Irish people are sensible, you know, and, and it's, it's a case of if we can develop a proper scheme and a proper sort of framework to, um, you know, do things in a way that suits everybody, which would include the restoration of peat, peatlands, then why not? I, I think when, when it becomes clear exactly what we have here, um, you know, it, it, it's quite exciting really. And the more we look into it, um, the greater it, it becomes. And I, I just say from the Netherlands point of view, I was in the Netherlands recently and had a great talk um, from somebody who basically said that, look, they removed all their peat from the year 1300 to the year 1900. 
and they're now, on average, um, for about a third of the country, about five metres below sea level. And that's because they've scooped out all the peat and dug big, you know, put big walls up to keep the sea out. Do you know? And it's the, these dikes. You know, but the subsidence levels, you'll hear about this in all these farming debates in the Netherlands. And they've taken it all out. And, and they're saying, please, please, in Ireland, we'll just stop burning it. We'll just stop destroying it. You, you've got such a valuable resource. 